Hello everyone, um, today I will show you how to remove immobilizer from uh, this older um, Volkswagen Golf 3 uh, Caddy Mark II uh, and similar. Um, this is the ECU um, and we, we need to remove um, EEPROM chip which will will which then will we uh, reprogram in using the programmer um, to disable immobilizer so let's start it let's get started um, when you find the processor uh, eprom chip will be somewhere near so in this case it's on the bottom and this is the eprom um, how how do you know which one is eprom you type in the uh, the code on the chip you type in into google and it will show up as um, as what this is um, if if it says it's eprom then this is the one so in my case this is the chip which we will need to remove now i will use this hot air station to remove the chip uh, and pliers and when it's hot enough it will just come off Once we have the chip, uh, we will need this EEPROM programmer, XGECU Pro, with uh, this additional socket, and uh, the EEPROM will fit right into this one. Okay, when you're inserting the chip, here is the, the trick, um, first pin is here. And first pin on uh, the EEPROM is the first one when you turn your uh, chip the right way, when you can read the text. Um, that's why you need to turn it upside down, like this, so the text is facing down. Uh, so the first pin not then becomes this one here. Uh, top right corner okay first you need to download this software XG Pro V uh, the latest version and this is um, this is the free software that comes with this prog programmer once you open this um, you need to select your chip in my case I have this chip um, 95040 this is uh, this is um, chip which is in Polos um, Golf's uh, caddies and uh, all these older um, uh, Volkswagen vehicles. Um, you 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 can read this information on the chip and just insert it here. Okay, so then we read data. Read. Uh, once we see that we selected the right chip and we hit read and this is the EEPROM data now now we need to make some changes in this um, data so that immobilizer will be disabled After uh, after you export your uh, dump file, you open this program WAC uh, ECU EEPROM calculator. Uh, my uh, I have gasoline here. We load this dump file, and you can see that emo status is on. We just go to off. We save it. Um, and then we upload this saved file back to to chip and that's it okay so here you can see that I have this uh, um, sad key and here is the immobilizer reader and it should start with uh, okay first you need to delete the codes that's very important. You need to delete the faulty codes from immobilizer and the engine. After that, the engine will start. Uh, 
um, I, I deleted the codes with this program, Carport, and the Autodia K409 cable. And that's it, that's all you need to know about how to um, remove immobilizer from these older cars. And this will work for for a lot of um, a lot of different cars. Okay.